This video will go through the process of creating a website on Code Sandbox and publishing on Notify. Let's start by creating a sandbox. Why not React? We'll make just a small change here to show that something's different. Save it. As soon as you save it, this menu on the left pops up. Click on GitHub. Let's name this Code Sandbox and Notify. Let's just make sure that repository was created. There it is. Let's see if our change is in there. All right, um, Netlify. So you'll have to log in a create an account if you haven't already. Um, as soon as you do, click on the new site from Git, go to GitHub, and search for Code Sandbox. This is the one that we just created. Master build command would be um, npm run build and publish directory. So this is from the create react app uh, defaults. Build, I think. And personal site, yep. So the first time that this builds, it has to, uh, it has to download, install node, and install, install all the npm dependencies. This only happens um, whenever you change an npm dependency. So subsequent rebuilds, if you only change the content, should be very quick. I'll probably fast forward through this in the video. Side is live, all right. So by default, Notify creates a name for you that's kind of random. Well, it is it is random, so if you want to use something else, you could either change the site name, whoops, not that, change site name to something like Code, Sandbox, and Netlify. And you could also, you could also uh, provide your own custom domain name, although I don't remember where that is right now, but um, it's on here somewhere. Anyway, um, let's see let's see our site. Code Sandbox and Notify. There we go. And let's make a change. Code Sandbox and Notify. Let's just delete this line. Save that. And here you'll see that you have the option to uh, either create a commit directly on the branch, on the master branch, or create a pull request. And let's create a pull request. Deleted second line. Open new sandbox to PR and get home. Um, let's make sure, let's see what happened there. Did that pull request get opened up? Look at the site. Is this still working? That does not look good. So we might have to finish that process manually. It looks like the branch was created. The CSV. Let's manually open that pull request up. So delete second line, create pull request. And as soon as you do, there should be a new deploy for deploy preview. So this isn't on your main site. You'll see that this site still has not changed. But the deploy preview that just got kicked off, um, it lives on a separate, it lives on a separate URL. Post my site is live. So the site is going to be, um, so there are two ways to access this. This is the commit hash, and there's also the pull request number. Um, let's see if we could, I wonder, so deploys, deploy preview, 
Let me preview one. And this one corresponds to the number of your pull requests. This was the first pull request on this repo. Um, pull request number one. Deploy preview one. Um, but this site is still uh, still has that line that we deleted. But after we merge this, and can delete this branch, it'll kick off another build. onto the master branch. And when this gets deployed, you should notice that this is building a lot faster than it was before. Side is live. We just need to refresh here. And second line's gone. All right, that's it. Oh, almost forgot. Check out NPM charts. This is my hobby project. I think it's awesome and so should you.